Hi, my name is Richard Brom, and we can have a bit of a talk about our second day's auction on the Friday the 22nd of April. Again, part of our huge two-day sale. Uh, we've been and talked about day one already, and on day two we've got another really broad selection of bits and pieces. You can see all the lovely lots on our website, Charterhouse auction.com and today I'm just going to really just whiz through some of my personal favorite bits and pieces something like this needs no introduction really uh, it should be hopefully easy identifiable for you Claris Cliff just a little sort of crocus pattern just a little condiment set there with a couple little plates not hugely valuable it's not the rarest of patterns it's not the most stylish of items uh, but you're still looking good sort of 100 150 pounds there and again, something which is a bit of my favourite here is this rather divine, it's almost rather squash, doesn't it? Like, look, poor chap looks like he's been run over. It's actually a needle holder. It's an Avery needle holder here in the form of a hedgehog. Um, now, a lot of people collect hedgehogs. I've got one of my sisters who collects hedgehogs. I have absolutely no idea why she does, but she does and she likes hedgehogs. So this is going to appeal to someone who collects hedgehogs. It's going to appeal to someone who collects sewing items. And as a result, although it's a little bit squashed, the poor little love, he's probably around about between £80 and £120, but a really nice novelty Victorian item there. Also Victorian, or 19th century, I suppose, technically, is this wonderful little box here. Lovely little... Uh, yeah, lovely little box and cover, little two division interior. And this is a 19th century, this is what we call Bidry Ware, B I D R I, Bidry Ware. And this is all silver inlay decoration. It's the sort of item that probably 10, 15 years ago, really before a lot of people started to use the internet with great gusto, never really brought a great deal of money. But today, if you're a collector of Indian wares, Bidry wares, Wherever you are in the world, you can find this, and again, such an unusual shape, and a lovely little box like that, probably a good 100, maybe 200 pounds on the day, and that's lot 841, that one there. One of my lots, which is quite, a, quite an evocative lot, is we've got a collection of around about, there's about 400 military cap and other badges, but it's this one here that I just want to talk to you about very briefly. Some of you will recognise that as being the, uh, the liver bird, so this is the Liverpool Pals Regiment. Now, in the First World War, the very first 100 volunteers for the, one of the Liverpool Pals Brigade was actually issued with one of these by the Earl of Derbyshire. And unusually for a military badge, it's actually fully hallmark silver. I'm not sure whether Abigail can come in and see that. But that's a lovely set of hallmarks mm. there. And probably a little bit blurred, is it? <laughs> taken, taken with the Hubble camera, that one. And for, I mean, the badge like that on its own, very rare, at least £150 on its own. But it's actually part of a big collection we're selling, estimated between two and a half and £3,000. Now, something which uh, is quite uh, interesting, really, you're, you're, you're here filming with a device here, something which we don't use quite so much is fountain pens. Um, some of you sort of say, oh, I use fountain pens. Of course you do. There's always a few, there's always exceptions to the rules. And a lovely little Parker um, a fountain pen like that. A little bit of interesting history. This was given to the, um, the owner's husband by um, Dennis Thatcher. Um, I don't think it necessarily adds any value, but it's a little bit of interest, isn't it? And little Parker duo fold pen like that. So not fantastically old, but a lot of people collect pens. It's a very big market. And that's maybe a couple hundred pounds for that Parker duo fold pen. Now, two little bits and pieces we've got here. We've got some marble. We've got some marble. You've got these lovely, Vic very uh, high Victorian uh, marble and Pietra Dura inlaid uh, obelisks here. Very, very decorative specimen marble inlaid so they're they're victorian and then we've got here this is one of a pair of alabasters so very similar to marble um early 17th century maline panels here and you might be inside there's a lovely lovely bit of a gilt decoration on there as well and this is a, a a scene depicting the nativity and these this is sadly i mean let's face it if i was Made in 1620, I probably have a few chips and cracks and bits missing. Mind you, some I've got bits missing anyhow. And for, for, for the two little panels such that, they're estimated around about the £1,500 to £2,500. So with two little panels, so we've got to be very, very careful with them. So a bit of a whistle-stop tour through the ceramics and the miscellaneous. We've got a huge amount of furniture as well. And this is one of my favourite lots because I'm a simple chap and simple chaps like simple things. They don't really come much better um, than that lovely primitive stick back kitchen armchair. Very nice turn stretch. It's a super colour in great condition. Love the baluster turning here. It's got just the right amount of colour. And a chair like that is probably £500. 
you might do a little bit better. We've got chests of drawers, we've got lots of chairs, we've got furniture, we've got black forest cardboard beds, we've got pine dressers, we've got a whole host of things. Over the two days, we've got approaching probably 1,100, maybe 1,150 lots. So I hope you enjoyed the Whistle Stop tour around day two. Uh, you can see all our lovely lots on www.charterhouse-auction.com uh, where you can request condition reports and further images. We're now accepting entries for our huge three-day May sale. I've never done a three-day sale. Um, on May the 18th, there's about three to 4,000 bottles of wine, port and spirits. On Thursday the 19th of May, we've got silver jewellery, watches and gold coins. And then on Friday the 20th of May, we've got ceramics, miscellaneous collectors' items and furniture again. So if you've got something to sell, give myself a buzz or any one of our valuers on 01935 812277 or ping us an email via info at charterhouse-auction.com. I hope you enjoyed this week's sale. Thank you.